guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be unboxing the Yeezy 500s in the Soft Vision colorway. So if you guys are new, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that way we can stay connected. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So here is the shoe. And let me just tell you, I am so excited to get these shoes. I have been wanting these shoes forever now and honestly like these are not new but I did just pick these up because sometimes Adidas does this thing where on their app you get a notification and then you have like 30 minutes to like purchase an item that they restock like it's so random you never know what's gonna happen you never know which shoe is in stock and this time the restock was all of the 500s this is the first one that I went for because I really like this colorway I feel like it's like more girly but like men can also pull this off but I do like the color a lot like purple is one of my favorite colors so I was excited about this one I also did try and go for the salts but I didn't get a chance to get them it did sell out pretty quickly but those are definitely next on my list at first I wasn't a big fan of the 500s but that definitely is because at first I wasn't a huge fan of dad shoes like on me I just didn't like them but all of a sudden I have become a huge fan of dad shoes so being that I love dad shoes I absolutely love these like this is a perfect silhouette for a dad shoe so my first opinion of them honestly like as most people were saying in person it is more purple or like lavender you could call it than I guess like online it kind of people online I thought that it was like more of like a pinkish hint but it's definitely more purple in person but I personally really like this purple color it is like a light lavender color and it is something different I've never seen a Yeezy in this color so I do really like that so the upper on this shoe is kind of like a mixture between mesh and leather material so on the sides it has like this mesh and the mesh is pretty sturdy like when you touch it it's pretty thick and then also the rest of the shoe is basically like a leather material. There is one part on the side where it's very smooth leather, like smooth and soft. And then the majority like on the front of this, like the toe box. So around the toe box and like the laces, it's kind of like a fuzzy leather material. So, like if that makes any sense. But the, it's like fuzzy just because when you feel it, it's very soft. But it also looks fuzzy. Like it almost looks like a velour, but it's not at all. I don't know if that's like the best word to describe it but like that's the only thing I can think of right now and I know some people were like complaining about that but honestly I feel like that's just a silhouette of the shoe like that's what it includes so I feel like it's a different look than most but I wonder if like they did the smoother leather around the whole shoe if that would have looked a little bit better but honestly like I think it's fine I don't mind that but I know some people were complaining about that so just keep that in mind if you don't like that look at all so moving down to the midsole, it's basically like the same color as the rest of the shoe, but it's slightly lighter. I would say that I do like the way that they made this shoe, like the colors really coordinate with each other very well. So honestly, like this does not bother me. Like in the camera, it does look like it's the same color, but to me it looks like slightly lighter. And then you can see from the sole of the shoe, it kind of hits the midsole so you can see that tannish gum color when you're like wearing the shoe. And also like I know people weren't really like a huge fan of that so it's honestly not like terrible it's just like a little bit you see like a hint of the tan but personally I do like that I don't mind that at all and then on the bottom of the shoe is this gum tan color and it kind of looks like a very crazy like a crazy pattern on the bottom it's very different than all of the other Yeezys but I feel like that's what makes the 500 very unique and then on the inside of the shoe it has the Adidas Yeezy and Ortholite sole and it also is the same color as the rest of the shoe so this whole shoe is made basically like the same color besides the sole of the shoe is very tan so the difference in this Yeezy is it actually isn't made with the boost technology like most of the Yeezys it's actually made with this Adipreen which does not sound correct to me so I apologize if I'm saying that wrong but this is a different material but it's made for comfort in shoes so honestly like these are still very comfortable and adidas does use them in other shoes too again even though it's not boost it is very comfortable so these retail for 200 dollars and i do like that because it's a little cheaper than the other shoes like the other yeezys that they have which are usually range from like 220 to 300 so these are like a little bit of a cheaper yeezy because they do retail for 200 dollars 
So the other, like the 350 V2s, they retail for $220. So you are saving $20, which isn't like crazy, but it is nice that they are a little bit cheaper. So moving on to sizing for these, I actually went true to size on these. So in my 350 V2s, I usually go a half size up like they recommend, but for these 500s, I went true to size. So my size is a woman's eight and I got a men's six and a half. So that is true to size for me and these fit perfectly. I feel like if I went a half size up, it definitely would have been too bulky. And honestly, I did order true to size because it does look like a bulkier shoe since it is a dad shoe. So I didn't want it to be like really bulky on me. So I am happy that I went with the true to size because it fit me perfectly. So I absolutely love these shoes. The only thing I would say was when I received them, they did like on the midsole here, it has like a little bit of a chip. And honestly, like that can happen anytime because of like production, manufacturing, like just something that went wrong. So honestly, like I'm not worried about that, but usually all the Yeezys I've gotten, I've never seen like a flaw. I did see that a lot of people were getting them and the fuzz was like pulled apart, but I didn't really notice that on these, but that was common and I can definitely see why it was common. But honestly, like I absolutely love these shoes. I feel like this is a great dad shoe to have. And I personally love the other colors that they have. I'm hoping to get more of them, but this one I had to have because it just is such a girly color to me and I feel like it is perfect for women. But honestly, men can wear this too, but I feel like women will love this color just because it's a little bit more girly than usually with all of the other Yeezys. So this is a great colorway to have if you really like the 500s. comments below if you guys picked these up during the adidas selection or if you got them the first time they're released i would love to know and let me know how you're liking them so that is it for this video thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video